talk about doing your intro quite a long time after you started doing the work today, but we got a good one coming up today. I won on this damn thing, and you are about to find out how I won. I've got some stuff to fix on it now, because where I drove that uh, one peg that didn't want to come out, I finally got that out. That peg hole looks like she got violated by a 55-gallon drum, so it's not pretty, but uh, I think I'm going to be chiseling that out and putting a scab piece in there. But anyway, I'm going to head up on top. We're going to keep going. Enjoy the footage from throughout the day. I actually have a little bit of daylight in there for you. So see, John Collado, I'm not a vampire, man. I just, uh, you know, I just work at night a lot, and I'm allergic to the sun. It's all good. So see you guys on the other side of it. she is that thing is repaired I uh, decided to relocate the pegs all together um, I did drive in some short dowels like inch and three quarter and uh, excuse me two and a quarter I kept it about a quarter inch under I uh, got lucky didn't hang any of them up but I decided I'd rather use different spots so they're not in line with the old holes to begin with it probably would have been just fine with the dowels in there but like I said, I'd rather err on the side of caution. Um, I tell you, for all the fighting with the pegs and all that, and chopping that uh, brace mortise an inch and a half back overhead, that was a good good time, a good repair, and it feels good to have it done. So all I've got to do with the uh, peg holes that aren't used anymore, um, i just got to fill those in. It's going to look like there's uh, five pegs in that thing. But... Um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. It could have been a lot worse. We didn't bring anything down on our head. It's all back together, so this means now I can put my top plates on this side. I can finish my siding on this side because I don't have to dick around with anything else now. And we should be able to make some good progress from here. And our extended forecast doesn't look too bad. We're looking at 30s and a few days in the 40s. It looks pretty good going into February, so... Hopefully we can make some good progress. Next Friday I'll be heading to Maine to grab the uh, coal stoves that I mentioned earlier. So there will be a video of a little bit of a road trip there, which will be should be some fun. Um, all in all, it was a productive day today. I actually got out here in daylight, which usually when you catch me, it's after work, after dinner time. It's when I'm, it's when I'm heading out here for the evening and usually I only get a couple hours a night during the week when I can get out and work on it. You know, I spent the first uh, first week below zero out here working on this stuff, and that was enough. I get to work in it all day long outside on rooftops and everything else, and I really <laughs> I just hit a point where the hell that I don't feel like doing it. But I do have some butchery to fix on that repair just from getting the old pegs out and whatnot, but... It could be a lot worse. I mean, 
that certainly isn't a make or break thing for this building and I will probably be the only one to ever notice it. Most of it will be covered up when we put wood on the ceiling there. So anyway, I'm happy with the way it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I uh, didn't enjoy making this repair. But you know, when you make a goof up, you could sit and you can whine, you could bitch about it. It just, it's not going to help you. You just got to you got to go and do it, you know. Could I have left that inch and a half long and gotten away with it? I probably could have made it up somewhere in the joinery on the top plates. But, you know, when you start saying good enough, where does it end? You know, you start to say, oh, that'll be all right. That's fine. Good enough. Move on. You know, before you know it, you do half your structure like that or anything you do in life. And before you know it, you got something that's totally half-assed that you put a lot of effort into. So for the couple days of screwing around with this to get it fixed and fixed right, well worth it to me to lose that time to do it. So anyway, got a lot coming up, a lot going on. So hopefully you folks stick around for the ride. I will see you on the next one.